to praise the Lord right here. Light of Judah, Lord, you're my Savior. You're the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah, you're the ruler of my life and soul. Listen here, Lord, we come. Coming to this house with praise in our heart. We're coming to this house with the love of God. Listen, we praise your name. We praise your name. Let's go to the top one time. Come on. Oh, 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 Lord, you're my Savior. You're the King of Kings. Hallelujah. You're the ruler of my life and soul. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We come into this house. Yeah. We come into with the love of God. We praise your name. I see you. Come on, let's praise. We praise.
God called the daily bread. People, people have preached the gospel all the way, all the way from Bishop Paul Martin to our own that's sitting here tonight, man of God, uh, Pastor Melvin Wade and Jasper Williams, Todd Hall. It's been a great week of preaching. It starts the day off. And it's so important. It's called our daily bread. It is so important. It is so the power of the word and the power of the music. It goes hand in hand. And I don't know many places where you can go and get prominent preaching, prominent teaching. Let me tell you about the teaching part there. You can go to Margaret DeRoe's class and you can see over 125... It's amazing to see that many people in the morning. A couple of years ago, I started saying, where's all these people going? And I followed them. And when I got in there, we couldn't even get in the class. I said, what's going on in there? And when I walked in there, I saw, and you will hear from her tonight. She's singing tonight. One of the legendary, don't we love Margaret DeRoe? Come on, workshop. We love her. But she'll be getting up in a few minutes. That's how come the devil can't stop us. He's trying to shoot at one person, but there's too many of us for the devil to try to get here. Never, ever, ever. I'm going to say some names. Kurt Franklin. John P. Keith. Yeah. The Hawkins. Yeah. You name them, they've come through here. Is that true? They can't. Listen, I'm telling you, this has been one of the greatest phenomenal weeks that this workshop, and again, I've been here 47 years. 47 years. And I've seen it. I've never seen nothing as powerful. I looked at the preachers in here last night, and there were six rows of preachers, and it's amazing. Let me tell you something, when God give you favor, ain't nothing. I love David when he says in Psalms 40, by this, I know that God favored me, because he didn't let my enemies triumph over me. And I want to let you know, if you don't know it, you are favored. Touch somebody and say, you are favored. Come on, turn around tell somebody, you are favored. In fact, I want you to prophesy to somebody and tell them the next six months are going to be better than the first six months. Come on, tell somebody that the next six months, somebody shout better. It's going to be better. Better health, better joy, better peace. It's gonna be better.
this is a great night because this convention was born in Detroit, Michigan. We didn't have a lot of money. We didn't have a big building. It was in 3908 West Warren. Smith Flower Shop. That's where this convention was born. Reverend came to town to be with us after the death of Reverend Craig and to say that we're going to start the convention. Hal Smith. Anybody know anybody? Yeah. Hal Smith of the Hal Smith Majestics was our first president. And I'm not, I, I, I can't say all what I want to say to you, but I'm just glad, glad. and I'm, I don't have on my voice, I had a stroke, but I was determined. Thank you, Lord. I was determined that I was going to be here tonight if I don't be here no other night. I was determined that I was going to be here in this city where it was born, and you can't change the place where you was born. If you was born in Alabama, you got to say Alabama. This convention was born in Detroit, Michigan, in a flower shop. But look at us tonight. Look at us tonight. Amen. Look at us tonight. And I want to say thank you so much for taking us further. And I can't wait to see what the rest is going to be. God bless you. Number yeah. four, we started in a sweet 1967. They say it's 68 convention started, but we really got together in 1967 on Woodward and uh, London Inn. You know about that? That's when James Cleveland called us all together. And that's when we formed the Gospel Music Workshop of America. Amen. Sister Audrey, talk about your experience since you've been here. Well, it has been a wonderful one. I tell individuals that I started out as uh, a chaperone for our daughter, Jolanda, who was nine years old, and I was bringing her to the workshop. Then I found the Gospel Announcers Guild because I was a radio announcer. And then somewhere in the process, Bishop called me and asked me if I would share on the board of directors and again it has been a blessing i have grown i've matured i've made wonderful connections and i know that god is still moving us to higher levels i want to make it was in 1989 and i got my first excellence award from dr james cleveland for i'm so satisfied with my savior so we honor him on today my cousin deborah is going to sing i'm still holding on y'all give her a hand come on thank you
that we've all done. God 
made me.